For, for anybody that gets a job that is, that is something that's been a dream of theirs, I mean, I don't know how you start thanking people. Obviously, the opportunity that I've been given by Dr. Perry, by, by Ms. Burke, by Dr. Nadler, by everybody here, I mean, I, I've got, I'm, I'm the most thankful person you can't imagine uh, because I've spent, this isn't like I just decided I wanted to be a coach when I got to college. I knew that this is what I wanted to do when I was about in the fourth grade. And so it's not as though I haven't been a coach the last 15, 16 years. I have been, but, every, but you know, you, everybody wants to be at the Division I level. You want to crack at trying to do something great at a place where it can be done with people you want to be around. And so, you know, you, when, it, when it finally happens for you what, you, what what can you say other than you're just really excited, you're really thankful, and you're really hopeful. I think I share probably what, what's, what a lot of you fans have, and that is I am hopeful. I'm hopeful we can really do the kind of stuff you want to have done. Because I'm going to tell you, it's so much fun when things are really going good. And you need, look, traditions at any time, whether it's every year or whether it's just, hey, I can't wait till the schedule comes out because I want to see Eastern play these guys, or I can't wait till the Murray game. When you start expecting and you look forward to the fun, how many of us are looking forward to baseball season because of whatever, just says that's what we do. It's the way I am. I can't wait for pitchers and catchers to report. I can't wait because that's what I'm a fan of. Well, for, for the folks that are Panther fans, I, I just want, I, I can't wait for the time when you're like, man, I cannot wait for that game. Or we got to get there early because they're going to close it down. That stuff's fun. And you guys are the players, if you can be part of that, part of building that, part of people remembering that, hey, remember when, remember when we had to pull these bleachers out? Remember when we had people sitting back behind them on the scoreboard where they couldn't see? Remember when they added this or added that and you can say you were part of it? That is fun. And that's what you need to get to. That's what I'm really hoping that, that we can do. Uh, when it'll happen, no idea. Not a clue. I hope it happens sooner than, than, than you all do. Um, how are we going to do it? I have a little bit of an idea about that, but until we get out there and see what we've got, you don't know that. I can tell you this, they're going to play as hard. They're gonna, you're not going to look at one guy out there that has clean knees. Everybody is going to have scuffed up looking knees and elbows and everything else. Because I, if there's a few things I can't stomach, it's watching guys that don't dive on the floor. It's watching guys get out of the way of a charge. You all are going to love this, by the way. You're just going to love it. Absolutely love it. But you're going to get knocked down, and we're going to knock people down, and we're going to play hard, and we're going to have fun on the floor. Because, look, when, when players are having fun, fans are having fun. It's got to start there. So I talked a heck of a lot longer than I wanted to talk, but I, just, I have to say I'm just uh, I, I'm as happy as can be. I'm as excited as can be. There's a ton of work to do, you know, ton of work by these players, a uh, ton of work by our staff, and, uh, but when it's, when it's something you like doing, it's not, it's not really that much work. I knew a lot about Eastern Illinois because I remember the first good player that I ever saw, I was about, I don't know, 16 years old, the first guy I ever saw up close that was really good was Jay Taylor. And I was sitting on the bench at Hammond Student Center in Springfield, and I'm a high school kid, and I'm like, you know, Southwest Missouri was getting ready to play Eastern Illinois. And, and Jay Taylor, they were just doing layup lines, and Jay Taylor it took him about three steps to go from there to there and glide in and lay it in in layup lines. And I was kind of like, that's what a player looks like. And my dad was sitting out there, and he walked from the bench to the locker room because his team had gone in. And he said, how would you like to guard that for a living? And I kind of looked at it like, wow. And, and the, I, those were the games I remember. I remember Duckworth. I remember Jay Taylor. And then when I was a coach at Wabash Valley, I saw a t team with Kyle Hill and Domerkamp because I was at Wabash in 2001. So I know a lot about how good teams have been. I know about Coach Samuel's teams. Um, and to answer your question about why you want to be here, you always want to go where there's good folks. You always want to go where you like people. Um, and you want to go where people have a vision. And the vision that everyone in the athletic department has here, but specifically Dr. Perry's vision and, and Barbara's vision, you, you just want to be a part of stuff like that. You know, 
when, when, people are, when people are excited about something and when they're enthusiastic about something, it makes you want to jump in and do it too. A lot of times in athletics, uh, you will get kids that, you know, they're, they're, let's face it, athletics is more important. Playing ball is more important. I don't think that's news to anybody. The whole idea is, though, is if you can make them understand, and I'll tell you, it's the most gratifying thing in the world when you see someone get to school and they don't, they don't much care about it or they don't like it. Flat out don't like school. And, but to make them understand the importance of it, to make them realize, you know, every 18-year-old kid, and this isn't just basketball players, they, you know, they don't know that anything happened. They thought, like, nostalgia to them is life before the iPhone, you know? And so they don't really, they, you're talking about people coming into our college now, our university, who were born in 19, what, 92. And so, you know, they, they have to understand that, look, you are going to live for a long time. <laughs> you, you better have the, the, the necessities and you better be equipped to make it. Because every basketball player wants to, wants to go on and make money playing basketball. That's, I think that's terrific. If you can play and make money, if you can be like Bubba Watson and play golf and make money, if you can play tennis and make, if you can do, if you can play anything, an instrument and make money, I think it's terrific. But if you can't, then there's a whole lot of living to do and you need to be equipped. And so that's what I view as my role is to first make them understand that. You gotta make them understand that. Some guys have a really good structure with parenting and, and folks around them and some guys don't. And so. I think it's my responsibility and any coach's responsibility that you show guys at least at least direct them in the right path. Um, sometimes you, you you know you help you try you do as much as you can. You can't always make them do it. You can't ever make them do it. Try to help. Them. If any the last thing I want you to know is if anyone has anything, you want me to come speak to a group or you want me to come by the, you know a, a function of some sort. I want to do as much of that as I can. A lot of times when a new coach comes to town, you feel like they got so much going on, you don't want to bother them. But, but you know where you can reach me. Please just come, come by, and if, if there's something I can do to help anyone, um, you know, I, I, I'm willing to do that. I think it's really important that, that, that I'm as, as quickly as part of this community as I, can, as I can be, because I want to get to the point where it's hard to get into this building. And we need to, I need to meet as many of you as I can. So I, I really appreciate the opportunity and thank you for being here. Thank you.